bom. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, NSG Kai, and we back with another video. And today, we finna be reacting to your boy, Brand Then. And by what the title says, the bloods of Oahu inside the most dangerous hood in Hawaii. I'm trying to see what it's about. Like, are they really gangster or are they really soft? Yeah, Phil. I know my city, we get active though. But yeah, we ain't finna talk too much about it. Let, let's get to it, man. Get to it. Y'all come visit Camp 4, y'all gonna die. Y'all come with disrespect, y'all gonna die. Just hours after we finished mm. shooting, someone was shot right where I've been doing interviews. Honolulu police have opened an attempted murder investigation after a man was shot in Kalihi. Dang. When you think of Hawaii, you think of picturesque landscapes, blushing. That's what I'm saying. I thought, yo. Awesome Zija though. Like I really thought Hawaii was like a friendly place to chill at for like vacations or whatever. They be dancing and whatever, cracking coconuts. That's what I really thought. But hearing that somebody got killed down there, that that's type crazy to me. It's crazy. One of the last things that might come to your It ain't a small world, bro. It ain't. It's a large world. I never knew that, bro. Bloods Brave Gang at a camp That's crazy. Found a small trick at a Kahio Park Terrace. In the late 1970s, the mm. Bloods felt the state had been neglecting their public housing project. So to send a message to local politicians, five residents carjacked the Honolulu City bus and took the police on a 7-hour car chase before ultimately crashing it off interstate. See, like that's normal right there. Volcano eruptions really do be happening down there. Those volcanoes down there is active. That's normal. This is how the Cam 4 Bloods got the name Home of the Brave, a.k.a. Brave Gang. In 2023, mm. the most prominent blood territories are the Mayor Wright Housing Project and Kalihi Valley Homes, a.k.a. Cam 4 Hollow. While the two most prominent Crip Housing Projects being Kahio Park Terrace, a.k.a. KPT, and the mm. 99th Street Halava Mob Crip. I first heard about the gangs of Hawaii when I saw music videos by up-and-coming Cam 4 rapper Jules, a.k.a. Junko. His oh. videos are rife with energy, red bandanas, and a lot of hair wow. I hadn't even heard of before. Junko grew up in Cam They even got rappers out there, too? Telling me that his home wasn't a stable place, and he only had his mud brothers through it all. So for this episode, I ventured to the Cam 4 housing project to meet up with Junko and his friend BG Bucks to find out firsthand what life is like as a blood in Hawaii. It's on five four BG blood on gang east side five root blood. Oh. <laughs> well, excuse me. Excuse me. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm not trying to get copyrighted. I'm definitely not trying to get copyrighted. Sorry, y'all. I'm not trying to get copyrighted. I'm not even a big YouTuber. I'm like below. Oh, yeah. There you go. Not, not, not even dangerous hoods in Oahu, but dangerous hoods in Hawaii. No, oh, that wasn't even it right there, though. That's it right there. I'm so sorry. I have to, bro. I'm not trying to get copyrighted. They copyright you for anything, bro. I don't know what be wrong with YouTube. Or just probably, it'd probably be the people that be stealing people music and stuff. And then, oh. Today we're at the Camp 4 Housing Projects in Oahu. One of the most dangerous hoods in Hawaii. We're going to be doing some interviews, seeing what life is like in the hoods right here of Oahu. Hey, we, we in the Camp 4 Hollywood. Straight home of the brave, bro. Way to. Who am I here with? You got Bucks, Juice. Call me Juice, man. What's it like being uh. out here? Uh, it's pretty difficult, to be honest. People struggling out here too. Wow. You know, they say, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, man. Yeah, I see. It's a different story. It's the other side of the island that most people don't see. They don't really hear about our shit. Yep, never seen this side of the island. I catch that much shit because they would fuck up their tourism type shit. BG dog. Makes yeah, sense. Makes sense. BG around the world. West to the east. They got drunkies over here too. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> 
I heard down there that's like cribs. Mm. Like cribs. That's the S, get the SOS, the Harnas, get all those niggas, and up here is like Eastside Power Rouge. Uh. Cribs, you know? Yeah. Wow, they're just legend trips all the way in fucking Hawaii. Yeah. In the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. We're from the Braves, bro. Braves Gang. This is home of the Braves. If you recognize mm-hmm. Project Housing, this is one Project Housing. Going down, straight down to the next Project Housing is Ah. Oh. Down the street is Den of Peas type shit. No, no. Keep it P, bro. Den Keep it P. In, um, Keep it P. Cujo Park Terrace. They, you gotta wrap your set. Keep it P. Cujo Park Terrace. A housing project just 1.2 miles down the road from Canfor that reps the rival color blue for their loyalty to the Crips. For mm. years, the neighboring projects have beefed back and forth, getting in street fights and posting the videos online. Oh, Police oh, housing officials are recent increase in violence. What else don't we hear? And now, some say the internet is helping stoke that rivalry between housing projects. Social workers say Hold on. Obviously well Hold on. Let's go. Let's see. An attitude of violent rivalry and could be creating an atmosphere that will encourage more people to join gangs. Oh. The subtitle on this video describes it as a Oh, he tried to kick. Hang. Oh. Mm. Note the red cloth. Gang colors. On Hang. Oh. A tradition that is now fading. Oh, <laughs> they were scrapping. Oh. Cuz boys known for just running them hands, bro. Anybody that want them hands can get See, nowadays people don't do that. You tell somebody straight hands, you think it'd be a straight fight. Boom. Game over. Game over. The world would be different if it was no such thing as guns. That's what I... I just showed what I... Machete? Machete? I thought poking somebody was worse. But a machete? Yeah. The Bob McClot. Yeah, Bati Bob. To get to this deep where the shit start hanging and shit. Mm mm. Nah, believe me, bro. Like, if they see that type of shit on the news, what's going on? They're not, they're not gonna wanna come to the come over here if they really understood, like, what we go through. I don't know. I still would wanna go down there. No lie. In the same year? I mean, I'm in the hood. With only about 1,500 residents at Kalihi Valley Homes, nearly half a dozen people have been killed there in recent years, including Junta's friends, Starsky, Baby, uh, and Keita. All right, Peter, down. Speaking of, it's 16-year-old Starsky Willie, who was gunned down. 16? Four housing projects. Later in the video, we visit the site. Bro died too young. Took his last wow. Life. What is it like to, to walk outside your front door and know, like, just 100 feet away, one of your friends got shot? That can't be a very safe feeling. Nah, for us, like, it's understandable. Like niggas die every day. Yes, yes, and yes. They, they True. Think that over here be like the same thing. Like it's all good, but really, really, we feel that type of traumatic and PTSD type shit. Sometimes it trips you up, cause you know how you feel. I feel you, bro. I feel where you coming from. I had a lot of people that died on me. You gotta keep it pushing, though. Can't be upset. It's trippy how you don't cry at this funeral anymore. Like you just. Man, I've been ran out of tears. It's like I understand now. Oh, Brandy, you finna get, you finna get um tipsy. Don't drink too much, man. Don't drink too much. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. That one too? Oh. Oh. He gonna pass out. At least he embracing the hood though. Corona? Ew. Ooh. When the island boys came down and they said Waikiki K. Yeah, straight up, man. Waikiki K. Man, they clowns. I can't take the. I, understand the Waikiki... I can't take the island boys serious. Like, they clowns. Like, especially after seeing that video of two of them kissing. Come on. Who's going to take them serious, bro? Waikiki. 
I know I'm not. City or nothing to anybody, bro. That's a tourist spot, bro. Is this in the hotel? Yeah, bro. That's what I said. Exactly, bro. I was like, bro, they're this in the hotels, bro. That's crazy, bro. This in the hotel. So like, come on, bro. What happened the Island Boys put up What cool points you just gonna get out of that? Island Boys. I'm not gonna lie, bro. They're gonna run up. They're gonna be running out the back back gate naked as hell, bro. Take your drawers. They stay running. That's nothing new. They stay running. They act big and bad. Did someone get on that with them? Oh, chill, 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 chill. Come on, bro. You want some psychological warfare? Come on, bro. Yeah, word two, bro. They would have got stripped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just be like, oh, that's lit, you know? <laughs> that's money right there. They, they Free lit. Especially, especially all that jewelry they got on their body. They robbing the island boys. They robbing them. These little, these little niggas, they don't play. They do not play. They will take anything that you got. They want it, they will take it. Point blank period, bro. And you're going to have to up it on them. You don't up it on them. Just give your stuff up. Or just, you know. A few drinks. I asked Jim for what he did for fun growing up. And he took me to the old closed down rec center and basketball courts that he used to play in as a kid. There used to be a, a, a playground or a park right here? It's, it's like a little court. It's a little court down here. Up, up there, it was like the hall. That gym type remind me of this park that's around the corner from my house. It's called Gardner. It looked just like that. Study hall. We used to come. Swear. Plant shoot, come up here. Play inside. Pool table. All of that, you know? It was like a teen center with, for teens and shit, bro. But it closed down. The state still didn't do shit about this, you know? Wow. They'd rather see us at the bottom. That's why, like, the kids, they're so into other shit. Because they, they don't have stuff, stuff like this. To keep them busy and shit. Right. The kids going up here don't have an outlet to express no, themselves. They don't, you know? They don't. After a little research, I found a news segment from about 10 years ago where they talked about the closing of the rec center and how they had plans to rebuild it. Engineers determined the rusting. Come on, y'all need to rebuild it. Unsafe. Especially if you want to keep the kids out of trouble. Years. Rebuild it. Residents also worry about the safety of these kids without a proper place to play. The decrepit gym is just one of many problems that this. Uh, I do see all that rust. Just imagine the whole group of kids inside that gym playing ball and they just broke down. Public housing complex. That's bad. And if the gym at Kali Valley Homes can be repaired, it will be. If not, a new one will have to be designed and then built next year. With over a decade since this clip aired, nothing has been done to repair or rebuild the closed down rec center. So with few outlets for entertainment, I got to see how the kids of Camp 4 improvise for fun on a Friday night. Kids listen to drill music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These kids are getting sturdy. Are they getting sturdy? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hey. Where you from? Where you from? Oh. Excuse me? Bro. <laughs> Bro. Ain't no way. Bro, ain't no way. Hold on. child yeah they really going through tough times down there got little kids throwing up gang signs minutes Yeah, I got the kids over there playing pogs. You got you heard of pogs and shit, bro? No, what's that? What's that? What's oh that? shit, what's up? What's up? Pogs. I have no idea what this is. Bro. <laughs> it's like one of the games we we grew up playing too. Like, hey, 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 explain what's up. Explain, explain. Oh, you just hit the pog. All right, and whoever make them all say it, bro. All right, let me just watch to see if I can figure it out yeah, of context yeah. here. Cause I'm right now I'm feeling like a moron. The game of pogs, which actually originated in Hawaii, has been played on the islands ever since its creation, way back in 1927. Various rule sets exist, but the overarching theme consists of throwing a slammer onto pogs and then their mm -hmm. turn to flip or move them and eventually take all the pogs from your opponent. Uh -huh. Yo, those are nice. Hold on one second. Candace, what's up? I think my daughter's going pro at basketball. I'll take Wait, those. Wait, you're Oh. Why you hit the ground so hard though? Oh, it's got marbles. Wait, is this supposed to land on top of each other? It's like a twitch turn. Pogs in the chat. Am I tripping? This is Hawaiian pogs. I'm becoming an educational YouTube channel, bro. I'm learning something. If you see this little nigga, bro, you better watch out because you might smash your windshield. Shout out to <laughs> Hey! 
Better watch out for you break your windshield. Where I wish that little boy was trying to break my mom's windshield. Okay, there is, babe. Telly. Telly, you little nigga. Still drinking? <laughs> nah, nah, sus. That is sus. Uh uh. Mm mm. Mm mm. That's kind of fucking. No, what? Squad. That gargle kick's kind of like sus. That's what I'm saying, bro. That is sus. I'm like, oh, like, like, bro. Weird, bro. <laughs> That's boss. RIP to them. RIP. Please don't kill him. Brenda ain't no gangbanger. Please don't hurt him. Please don't hurt him. Yeah, don't hurt him. Please don't hurt him. Anything is possible. Oh my lord. Oh shoot. <laughs> Yo, wait. Wait, so who gonna be driving? Oh, never mind. Cameraman. My fault. My fault. After a few hours of getting to know the people of Cam 4, we walked to the memorial site of their close friend, Starsky Willie. Who in 2019 mm. was gunned down right there in their neighborhood at only 16 years old? It was only 16, bro. Body, body spot down here, you know? Too many young people dying. Hey, that's what they wanted to get into, man. You signed up for something? 
They try to get out of it. Well, I'm not finna repeat what you said. <laughs> You're crazy. RP baby, RP the brothers. There's a lot of unseen shit. There's a lot of shit I can't, you know, talk about. But Man, you don't have to, bro. I understand. What it is, bro. To the brothers, but you already know we bodies for y'all. <laughs> Don't be like this man right here. He's a menace. Don't be like him. Don't. Tell you. Catch a body? Is you serious? Man. Mmm. Mmm. I believe you. I believe you. Most definitely do. I'm just very shocked that it's actually like gang rivals down here, down down in your city. On your island, I mean. I'm just very shocked. I'm shocked. I don't think it's cool to like, you know, I never think that. Oh. Like, yeah, we get some connects here and there, but other than that, nigga, bro, everybody is paid, bro. Mm. I think that is. I think that is, cause niggas hate us. You feel me? Oh no, they cannot funk with us. You feel me? Cause we funk different, bro. The way we funk, nigga, man, we fucking funk till we, nigga, we, man, I don't even know, but PG don't play, bro. If you wanna die, you can die, nigga. If you wanna live, oh well, it is what it is. You feel me? Do your thing, man. Just don't, would, just don't yeah. pop. I'd like to do my thing here. Just don't pop. Hey, you know, everybody die one day, but it's, it's about what you leave behind, you know? Bro is Ooga Booga. <laughs> He's Ooga Booga. You see his face? Oh. Man, I want to leave a legacy that my youngins just look up to me and just live like, damn. I want to be like homie right there. Jesus, you feel me? Like, just, I'm a gangster, bro. I, I live for this shit, bro. I die for this shit. I don't give a fuck. No, I don't care, bro. Like, really, really, bro, man. I love everybody, but if niggas want some smoke, man, they can get it, bro. Like, we don't play around. Bro. I feel you. Man, understood. Man, fuck, gonna die, bro. I understood, die, man. Bro, fuck everybody out here, bro. Okay. Yeah, we, we all don't say everybody. Bro. It's love, bro. <laughs> Oh, he got the most dirty. Yeah, change the subject up, man. They got to change up the subject. Bro, they got a whole unit called, the, you know, the Goon Squad. It's the undercovers. Fuck y'all niggas. Like. No, straight up, bro. I'm telling you. Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii got the most dirtiest cops out here. Straight up. Mm. Fuck 12. Like me, out of my like mindset and shit, bro. We just trying to paint a better picture for these young, the youth, you know. Do better, you know. If we can do it. They look up to it like shit. We can do it too, you know. Straight up, mm -hmm. we love. We stay. We stand on. We stand on business, you know. Shit, he look. He look. He look lit as fuck, bro. <laughs> Ooga booga. <laughs> Ooga booga, bro. He proud. He off that yak. While filming this video, I had a great time in Kansas. And although they told me about the tragedies that had occurred nearby, I was pretty relaxed the Friday night that I spent there. But only an hour or so after I left, a gunman came through and fired shots right where I had been doing work, resulting in a member of the community having to be hospitalized. Thank you. This is just one of the many acts of violence that plague the area and the surrounding community. I was surprised. I hope it wasn't that crash out. But when I say catch bodies, hopefully it wasn't him. Here's the news clip from that incident. Honolulu police have opened an attempted murder investigation. Crazy. Man was shot in Kalihi. It happened on Kalaunu Street just before 1.30 a.m. According to EMS, the 27th... Thank God you left on time, bro. ...taken to the hospital in critical condition. It's God's work for real, man. God, God really the ghost. On a suspect. You don't put your trust into God. You guys out there want to keep up with... You don't even trust yourself. Follow him on Instagram and check out his YouTube. All of which will be linked in the description of this video. As always, the extended cut is on Patreon. And if you want to buy the cold ass riding jersey that I'm wearing in this episode, visit the Buckinghamshop.com today. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. I love you. And I'll see you soon. <laughs> you know what that means to someone? That means, you know, go home, nigga. Go to fucking, go to fucking go sleep, nigga. <laughs>
go home. Yeah, I'm out. He's a menace. <laughs> he is a menace. But, like I said, God is good. He got him up out of there on time. You don't put your trust into God. You don't trust yourself. Simple as that. You don't trust yourself. You don't. But, uh, man, I'm not going to lie. This was a good reaction. Very interesting. Kids. <coughs> Menace. Um, I was just shocked. I ain't never knew it will actually, like, be a bad island. I thought, like I said, I thought Hawaii was just like a place you go there for vacations and stuff, crack coconut stands, all that. I ain't, I ain't never think they had gang rivals down there. Never think that. Rappers? I ain't never think that. But, yeah, like I said, I enjoyed the video. I did. And um, hopefully y'all enjoyed it, too. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. Give me to 500, 500 subscribers. Get my video to 15 likes. And um, share this with your fam. And yeah, have a blessed afternoon.